Hey guys, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only. Today's video we are going to be talking about mindfulness and cognitive behavioral therapy and then how we can use these resources and tools to help increase our sexual desire and why paying attention and learning how to pay attention matters when it comes to our sexual health and our sexual bodies. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll get started. So through my research and reading, um, I recently read Dr. Lori Brado's book on better sex through mindfulness and it was completely mind changing. I do have a eight week course that's based off of her research that walks you through how to kind of practice mindfulness and how to um, incorporate mindfulness within your daily life in order to be more aware and cultivate more sexual desire. So if you're interested in that, send me a DM on Instagram and we can chat. But yeah, her book talks all about how paying more attention to our bodies is what's gonna actually help us become more mindful um, and also help us be more aware of when sexual desire sparks in our life. So for example, we all live really busy lives, we're stressed out, we have stuff going on the go, um, and you may be having moments of sexual desire but you're so distracted or your anxiety, um, which is causing you to think ahead most of the time, is not letting you be present in the moment to even acknowledge that sexual desire. So learning how to slow down, be present, stay in the moment can help us learn how to pick up on those cues of desire and then help us, you know, act on them and be more aware and in the moment within our bodies so that we're not checking out and we're not tapping into our anxious thought patterns and thinking ahead or thinking about, you know, past beliefs about ourselves or current beliefs about ourselves that aren't helpful. So in her book, she talks about how cognitive behavioral therapy, so CB. T um, focuses on how if you have a negative thought or if you have like an, an anxious thought that comes up, instead of feeding into that thought and letting the anxiety take over and going down a rabbit hole, CBT offers you to pause and take a look at the thought and then try to think about it in a different perspective. So you ask yourself different questions. So like, is there another perspective here? Um, you know, what are the facts in this situation? What if I looked at it in this light? And you kind of talk yourself down from the anxiety and you realize that the feeling that you're having is not factual um, and then you choose a more helpful thought or you choose a more helpful perspective. So for example, with sexual desire, you could have the anxious thought of like, if my sexual desire doesn't increase, my partner's going to leave me. Um, and so we can pick apart that thought and we can say, okay, well, are there any indicators that your partner has told you that they're going to leave you, right? Are there any indicators that your sexual desire isn't going to actually increase? Why potentially are we feeling this way? Like, why do we have this belief that our partnership relies on this one aspect of our relationship? And just kind of pick apart those feelings and basically not allow your anxiety to take over. Instead, look at it from a different perspective so you can choose a different path and not feed into the, the anxiousness. So that tactic of CBT worked for one third of women. So for one third of women, they reported that their sexual desire increased when they would realize they would have thoughts like that and then they'd course correct. But for the other two thirds, it didn't improve their sexual desire at all. And what she found through her research and her study was actually that mindfulness was the thing that helped increase most women's sexual desire. So what mindfulness cognitive based therapy does instead of just regular cognitive based therapy is that instead of trying to change your thoughts, we work on just accepting the thought as it is, but not applying judgment to it. So oftentimes we could feel like we have low desire and then we apply all this judgment like I shouldn't be this way or I'm not normal or something's wrong with me or I'm getting older. This is like going to kill my sex life. And so with cognitive based therapy, like we would challenge those thoughts and, and go through those questions. But with mindfulness based therapy, we're going to actually just accept the feeling but not apply judgment to it. So don't tap into it or like explore it further. Just be like, that's a feeling, it's not factual. It's not right or wrong, it's not bad or good. I'm just gonna let it pass off and move on to my next, you know, most helpful thought or move into what's actually happening right now and what I can actually control in this moment. And so by noticing those thoughts and not applying judgment to it, we don't enable them and we don't enable our anxiety to continue on, right? So we, we become aware and we just tune back into the present moment. And there are many ways that we can practice being mindful. So mindful eating, body scans, paying attention to our breath, anything that kind of brings you back to the here and now and practicing being back in the here and now is what's going to help you cultivate a stronger sexual desire because it allows you to actually pay attention to what's happening and not your anxiety. So for example, if you're having a sexual experience with your partner, I have videos on this as well about sexual desire, how you know you could start off being flat, no sexual desire, but as you start to have a sexual experience, start to cultivate sexual desire. So 
don't think that if you don't have this like spontaneous sex response um, and you have a more responsive sex response system, that's okay. I'll link that video down below so you can learn about that. But say you start off neutral and you have a sexual experience with your partner. If you go into that experience and the desire starts to cultivate because you're paying attention you're picking up the cues of how you feel in your body and what it feels like to have your partner touch you and being really in that moment instead of you know thinking about oh I wasn't desiring this at first or oh I have a lot of stuff to do or I'm really stressed out about work all of these things you know that step on our breaks um, if you stay present in the moment and you practice being present in other ways in your life so through eating and, and a mindfulness practice and meditation you'll teach yourself how to be present during sex and then you might surprise yourself to see that you actually do enjoy what's going on or asking for what you need during the sexual experience to move more closer towards pleasure and so in that practice of mindfulness is what actually helped most women cultivate desire and, and increase their sexual desire aside from just changing their thought patterns because instead of judging ourselves for how we're feeling we're just accepting ourselves for how we're feeling and we're not labeling it as bad or not normal or something being wrong with us we're just labeling as this is our experience it's not factual right it's just a feeling and instead of diving into those feelings and focusing on stuff that we you know sparks our anxiety we're going to focus on you know paying attention to our body in the present moment and see what happens um, so mindfulness is such a powerful tool for increasing desire. I do have the eight-week course it's from the research that Dr. Lori Brado and her team did at UBC. Um, if you're interested in, in learning more about it and going through it, we also have the yoga and meditation kind of looped into it. Let me know. Send me a DM. I'm always happy to chat about that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe because that really helps this channel. And I'll see you for another video shortly.